Hello there! Welcome to the world of competitive Pokémon. My name is Callie, and I hope you'll call me the Pokémon Professor after this series. I really love Pokémon, and competitive Pokémon in particular is one of my favorite things. But a lot of people haven't even tried it because it can be kind of intimidating. That said, Sword and Shield have made it easier than ever to actually get started, and hopefully I can help with the rest. In this short series, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know so you can breed the perfect Pokémon, make your own team, and have fun battling. To start off, we have to talk about what competitive Pokémon even is. There's all kinds of unofficial competitive formats out there, but the official championship format called VGC is the main one I'll be focusing on. All VGC battles are double battles. Each player brings a battle team of six Pokémon, and you pick four to use in the battle based on which Pokémon are on your opponent's team. You can't have any repeat Pokémon or held items on your team, and certain Pokémon like Mew are banned entirely, so the exact list varies from season to season. In a regular Pokémon battle, you probably think about type matchups, the raw power of an attack, and physical versus special damage. But when you're playing competitively, there's a lot more considerations to deal with. Speed, weather, move priority, supporting moves, and Dynamaxing, just to name a few. Like I said, it can all seem kind of intimidating. So let's just start by looking at one Pokémon and go from there. Well, two. I have two Dragapults here, both at level 100. But their stats are actually pretty different. Bear with me, because once you understand stats, understanding everything else about competitive Pokémon will get a lot easier. You're probably familiar with the six battle stats. HP, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Each species of Pokémon has a general base value for each stat that determines its overall strengths and weaknesses. The average Dragapult, for example, has an exceptionally high speed stat, great attack, very good special attack, and then middling stats in HP and the defenses. But when you look at the actual numbers, these two Dragapults have very different stats. Individual Pokémon vary within their species for a few reasons. The first is their IVs, or individual values. These are the under-the-hood numbers that go a long way in determining an individual Pokémon's stats. They're basically the Pokémon's genes. IVs range from 0 to 31, but in-game you can see them represented with words if you've unlocked the judge function in the Pokémon box. To do that, you have to beat the game and then get 6 wins in the Battle Tower. If it says best, that means it's a perfect 31. If it says no good, that's a flat 0. You generally don't want anything in between. The first Dragapult has 5 perfect IVs with a pretty good special attack stat, while the second has four perfect IVs with pretty good attack and only decent speed. If we just compare speed for now, it's pretty clear that the second Dragapult is going to be slower than the first. But even with a bad speed IV, the second Dragapult is still going to be faster than a generally slow Pokémon like Slowpoke. It's just slow for a Dragapult. Pokémon also have one of 25 natures that affect how their stats grow. Most natures boost one stat and hinder another, though a few are neutral. You can easily tell what a nature does without looking it up by looking at the Pokémon stats. The boosted stat will be written in red, while the hindered stat will be in blue. The first Dragapult is Jolly, which improves its speed at the expense of its special attack, while the second is Timid, which boosts speed at the expense of its physical attack instead. I'll explain this more in a second. The biggest difference between these two Dragapults is how they're trained. There's another set of semi-hidden numbers called Effort Values, or EVs, which also help determine a Pokémon's stats. There's both a maximum number of EVs a Pokémon can get overall, and a maximum it can get in any one stat. You can see the general distribution by going to a Pokémon stat screen and pressing X. It'll be a darker yellow if you haven't hit the overall max, or blue if you have, and individual stats will sparkle if they're maxed out. Pokémon automatically get EVs when battling. Zigzagoon, for example, gives one speed EV to each Pokémon that gained experience from battling it. During the course of the main adventure, you're usually battling a variety of Pokémon kind of at random rather than a bunch of Zigzagoons in a row, so the Pokémon you use to beat the game will have a totally random set of EVs spread across all their stats. For competitive Pokémon, however, you usually want EVs concentrated in two or three of their most important stats. That's because competitive players breed and train their Pokémon very specifically in order to take advantage of that Pokémon's strengths. Unlike the jack-of-all-trades Pokémon you likely use to beat the game, competitive Pokémon usually have narrower roles. Some are offensive, some are defensive, and some act as support in one way or another. Even if offense isn't their main job, most competitive Pokémon further specialize in either physical or special attack. Offensive Pokémon can hit harder with full EV investment in their stronger attack stat, while defensive Pokémon are of course better off with EV investment in their defenses. So back to the Dragapults. 
Dragapult is actually one of the lucky Pokemon that has strong base stats in both attack and special attack, and with its incredible speed, it's a great candidate for a fast, hard-hitting attacker or special attacker. The first Dragapult is my competitive attack build. I bred it to have five perfect stats except for special attack, and chose a nature that hurts special attack, and then I EV trained it with full investment in speed and attack. It's very fast, and it can do a lot of damage, which is what I wanted. The second Dragapult has the makings of a special attacker thanks to its IVs and nature, but that was actually just dumb luck. I caught this one in a raid and used it to finish the story, so it has a totally random assortment of EVs, including way too many in attack given that its nature actively hurts its attack. It also knows three physical moves and only one special one because I didn't pay attention at all when I was leveling it up. So even with almost perfect IVs and the right nature, this Dragapult isn't competitive at all. Because numbers are kind of abstract, here's the in-battle effect of proper breeding and training. I had both Dragapults battle the same Melodic using the same move, Phantom Force, which is a physical attack. Both Dragapults outspeed this Melodic even though it has a perfect speed IV, since Melodic's base speed is much lower than Dragapults. Once the move hits, you can see a big difference in how much damage the competitive Dragapult deals on the left versus the regular one on the right. And in competitive battles, every bit of damage counts. So to recap, an individual Pokemon's stats are determined by a few things. First, the base stats of its species, which stats it's naturally strong or weak in overall. Second, its IVs, how good each stat is relative to those base species stats. In simpler terms, is it the fastest it can be for its species, the slowest, or something in between? Third, its nature, which stat is further improved by the Pokemon's nature and which is lowered. Fourth, its EVs, how the Pokemon has been trained. I'll go over the math of this in the breeding and training video, but for now, all you need to know is that EV investment further improves stats. It's essentially how you customize your Pokemon. Like I said earlier, understanding how stats work will make understanding everything else about competitive Pokemon a lot easier. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Twitter at InkyDojiko or in the comments below. The next episode is all about battle strategies in the VGC, so stay tuned to GameSpot. Thanks for watching!